Hey guys, Ty here, and in this video, we are going over, let's jump in the headset and I'll show you, check this out. Custom home environments. Now this is a, a little uh, Hyrule Village from Link that I put together here. I just ported this from uh, Steam VR. actually, pretty easy to do. Uh, or you can do these yourselves, really easy. And this is just made from a 360 image. It's the Death Star hanger and it looks amazing. It's not in 3D, but it still looks sick. Uh, and anybody can do something like this and have it on their headset in just a matter of minutes. It's super simple to do. So I'm gonna show you how to install ones that other people have made, how to make your own 360 environments like that. Very, very cool stuff. It's actually super simple. Anybody can do it. Let's jump into it. Tyco Tech. Tech reviews and tutorials. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need is uh, to download a few things. First, we're going to be using SideQuest to uninstall the original uh, environments and install the new ones. If you're not familiar with SideQuest, I'll put a link down below to a video I did on how to use it. It's good stuff. If you're not using it, you should be. Next, we're going to need Zip7, which is like a compression tool, like WinZip or something like that, but it's very, very user-friendly. It's perfect for what we're gonna be doing, so download that and and then you can follow along with what I'm doing. You're going to need a home replacer, which is like a little tool that kind of automates all of this uh, packaging and creating the actual app that was made by a guy named Dude over in our Discord, so thanks to him. I'll provide a link to our Discord. Come over there, there are a ton of really cool models made by several people that you can just bam, install on your headset. You're going to need a Pano template. Uh, and that is how we're gonna be easily creating these 360 home environments from like pano photos um, or panoramic images. And they've gotta be 360 type images. So, um, you know, 5,000 by 10,000 pixels and so on. I recommend keeping it at the most 12,000 by 6,000. It will work, but for some reason the Quest doesn't like it and it tends to bog it down. I find a 6,000 by 12,000 is perfect, but we're gonna be showing you one here that's only 2,000 by 4,000, this cool sky image. Um, so let's make your first home environment using the Pano template. So you're going to download and ins uh, the Pano template uh, and then you're gonna see in here we've got sky.bin, sky.gltf. GLTF is actually a model file. And then we see Pano, and we've got this cool picture from like the stratosphere. Um, you just can put any 360 photo in here and rename it Pano. So delete this photo if you want, stick another one in here, but you've gotta call it Pano. Um, then we're going to highlight and select everything in this folder, all three files. We're going to right click. We're going to go to add to archive. Um, I've got a keyboard shortcut to make this quick, but you need to name this exactly right. And I'll provide the name down below. Got to be right. It's underscore world underscore model, all caps, uh, dot GLTF dot OVR scene. Just copy and paste from down below because it needs to be precise. Then you're going to click OK. Done. Now we're just going to uh, select this world model file. You're going to copy it, so I'm just going to hit Control C. And then you're going to open up uh, the home replacer folder. Uh, and in here, you're just going to paste it. Easy peasy. Now you're going to run the home replacer bat file. Um, I do recommend that you go to a view in your Windows Explorer and then click on file name extensions so that you can see the file name extensions. That's gonna be helpful, so do that. Um, once it runs through its completion, and it's going to create an app for you. Now it says success, done, press any key. Now you're gonna have new underscore Rift Home APK. And that is an actual app. That is the app that you want uh, to install. Now, using SideQuest, we do need to get rid of the original ones first. So come up into the top where it says currently installed apps um, and just search for uh, ENV is enough to bring the only two up. Make sure that show all is selected. And here we've go. We've got Oculus Environments, 
home. Now it says Rift Home. This is the one that's called Classic inside of the headset. So that can be a little bit confusing. So Rift Home and Classic are kind of interchangeable. Winter Lodge is clearly the new Winter Lodge. So go ahead and click the gear, click uninstall app. We'll get rid of that. So now uh, we're just going to install the new one over it. Now some of these have been spoofed as the Classic Home or Rift Home. Some of them have been spoofed as the Winter Lodge and it's very clearly labeled over in Discord. So if you decide you want a Winter Lodge one, uninstall your Winter Lodge uh, here. So let's go back over to Home uh, Replacer and we're going to drag and drop it over Side Quest like that and we'll see that it has been installed right there. So boom, it's good to go. Now let's go back into the headset. We may need to restart the headset, but you don't always. Okay, um, so let's go back over and we're gonna click on Quest Dome. Um, now it says to download Classic Home. So you're gonna need to restart the headset to actually apply that. So I'll do that really fast and we'll jump right back. Okay, the headset has restarted um, and now we can see that we can apply it. Let's click that and then boom, our Star Wars environment goes to this really cool uh, piano uh, from our uh, stratosphere here. Now you will sometimes run into it saying download again uh, and if you see that after a restart, uh, just install the app again and then usually it'll just let you apply it but you may need to restart the headset again. So that's that, I mean super, super simple stuff and there are a ton of really cool 360 images uh, to make your own home environments with. Um, so just search the web. If you want good resolution, at least 2,000 by 4,000. Anything less than that is going to start to look kind of grainy. Uh, and it depends on the quality of the image itself. Some people get better 360 images than other, even at similar resolutions. Hop on over to our Discord and check out all the models that we've got over there. Those you're just going to uninstall using SideQuest, download it, and reinstall it. Easy peasy beautiful cover girl. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask down in the comments below. Give the video a like if you liked it. Uh, hit the uh, subscribe button. If you're not, hit the bell button to get notified when I do these videos. And that's that. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.